the input is multiplied by the weight and then summed to get some final value. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Ron and I'm helping Professor Tamya teach deep learning. Today we're going to walk through the matrix multiplication behind a single node in a neural network. Let's do a little matrix multiplication for just one node of a neural net. Let's consider one node with three different inputs. These inputs are from a previous layer. These three inputs all are in this matrix. This is the input matrix. So this one might be providing the two, this one is providing the one, and this one is providing the three. Now, each of these nodes in the previous layer is weighted in a different way. Um, the input is multiplied by the weight and then summed to get some final value that then is corrected by a value called a bias. This bias is then added to the summation of the weighted inputs um, to get the final node value. So let's start. The first input is multiplied by the first weight. Um, then the second input is multiplied by the second weight. This is just typical matrix multiplication, but instead of putting the matrices side by side, um, we're moving them like um, to this position so that it's easier for us to keep track of what we're multiplying. Now the third input is multiplied by the third weight, and we sum all of this to get four, because that's two plus three, which is five, minus one. Now we're going to take four, which is the the sum of weighted inputs, and we're going to subtract the bias to get negative one. This is the value that we have here. Now we're going to put this through a ReLU function. What is a ReLU function? Essentially, it takes all of the inputs that are negative and it turns them to zero. And all of the um, inputs that are positive will be unaffected. So this is negative one. So after it goes through ReLU, then it will be zero. And um, this is then the final value that will end up in this node. Um, and yeah, that is the end of the calculation.